and then S3 PHP video word tutorial save it okay and now let's just refresh okay so now it's displaying a title okay and now we need to need to create a table okay for displaying our records so for that i will come to here to my boots watch website here you will find the predefined code html code for different elements like for creating table for creating buttons for navigation okay and here now i want the table so i'll just click on this and i will select the entire code and i'll just copy and i will put it here okay here I just give you some indent the first one is id second one is title the third one is description okay, and then category The, this one is date and the last one is action uh, now let me just delete all this extra stuff okay now let's save it and now when i refresh the page now it's displaying me this table okay so now it's, it's not displaying properly here table just copy put it here save it and now let's just refresh okay it's displaying uh, all the different fields okay now we need to get the data from our database table and display here on our uh, on our home page table okay so for here you can see i already inserted one record inside my post table and this record i'll be fetching from this mysql table and i'll display that record here on my table okay, so for that i have to go to my index.php file and then here I need to remove all this okay here i have to write my php script statement and then video is to write a query okay so this video i am referencing from my db.php file since i have this, this is the same video okay this is the object of video okay so here we in this index.php file we will be able to access to this php uh, sorry pdo object because we have included this db.php file here okay so the, here i will Okay, I'll just write select star from post table. Okay, I want to get everything from the post table since I have only one record inside my post table, so it will return that record only. Okay, so now I will check if my table contains any records or not. Okay. statement i will use a method called row count greater than zero okay so if our table post contains any record then it will return a value of one which is greater than zero okay now in this case our table contains the record so it will iterate keep on iterate the table 
okay and assign the data to this row statement fetch okay so i will fetch the data video fetch obj okay so i am fetching the data as an object from my table post and i will try to display that formation now save it let's okay refresh okay now it's displaying me the title okay so that means we are successfully able to fetch the data from our table okay. here we'll use a td php list echo here dollar row of id okay and now the same thing i will just copy i will paste it here okay just copy and put here id title description category okay and then published on you know save it and now let's refresh okay now it's displaying me the uh, details of the first post which is stored inside my table you know let's come back here okay and we need to display a few links for each and every post okay, now let's come here td a view okay and then here class label label of primary okay i'll just copy i'll put here a couple of times this one is edit and the last one is delete and we need to change the classes success and the last one is danger okay now save it now let's refresh okay now displaying me three buttons one is for viewing a single post second one is to edit the post and then third one is to delete the post okay so now now let us link the ids yes first okay view okay when i click on this view link a request should sent to view.php file okay uh, with an id associated with that request okay id is dollar row of id okay save it okay here i will just copy the same thing i will put it here and i will change it to edit I'll put it here and then i will just change it to delete okay now what i have done is i have created three links one is for view second one is to edit and one the third one is for delete your one first link which is view will send a request to view.php file which is i have not created yet okay so along with that request i will be sending the id of that particular post to which i want to display inside my view.php file okay so now let's save it okay now let's 
refresh okay so now you can see now when i place the mouse cursor on top of this view link on the bottom left side of this browser you will notice a link gets generated which is 127.0.0.1 which is in this place okay here on the bottom left side you will see a link 127.0.0.1 slash php video crud which is the our project name and then view.php which tells us that i want to send a request to view.php file and to that with that request i'll be sending the id which is one okay and he you can see if i place the cursor on edit it will display me a different link where i'll be sending the id of id equals to one to the edit.php and here i'll be sending a request to delete.php file to delete the post and i'll be sending the id of one so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay and thanks for watching